all and welcome to this Energy Academy video about peaking plants. Colloquially known as peakers, they refer to any power plants that generally only run at times of high or peak demand. For the purposes of this video, we're referring specifically to gas reciprocating engine peakers. The important word to note here is engine, and these work in the same way as the engines you find in your car, as opposed to turbines, which are more like what you get in jet engines on planes. These plants burn gas and sometimes hydrogen, which causes pistons to move up and down or back and forth in a reciprocating movement. In engine terms, these are very efficient. However, we typically think of them as being less efficient than closed cycle gas turbines or CCGTs, meaning that they use more gas to produce the same amount of energy. The latest peakers have an efficiency of just over 40%, whereas CCGTs can achieve efficiencies of above 60. Generally, they turn on or ramp up quicker. They can start from cold in a couple of minutes and sometimes less, meaning that they can be called upon by suppliers at shorter notice to help balance the system at times of high demand. CCGTs, by way of comparison, take around 50 minutes to get up to full power. In cases of high demand, peakers can be turned on rapidly to meet demand on the network, thus minimizing the risk of outages on the grid. Gas peaking plants are considered flexible assets due to these faster ramp times. In the UK, we generally have two types of peakers, gas and diesel. In the early years of the capacity market, a lot of diesel peakers were built, but over the years they have begun to be overtaken by gas peakers due to the latter being more cost effective. Peakers in the UK generally have capacity market contracts. Some also take part in the wholesale market, in the store market and in the balancing mechanism. And to find out more about how these markets work, you can watch our other Energy Academy videos. I'll see you soon.